A meteorologist Gary Lezak with Weather 2020. After major hurricane disaster, Helene, the last thing we need is another disaster, and it looks like we've got one. This hurricane is Hurricane Milton, and it's projected to be close to a Category 5 now. Let me take you through this and show you the latest details as we start from the beginning here. Hurricane Milton projected to be a Category 4 hurricane, and I'll show that to you in a second. The latest data from the American model has it farther north. Tampa is right here, and this takes it in north of Tampa. This is the latest American model. The European model has it just south of Tampa. So somewhere around Tampa is the likely landfall location. We will learn a lot more by tomorrow. The timing has also changed. This is valid at 8 p.m. Eastern Time Wednesday, the American model, this is 8 a.m. Thursday. It's a little slower, and that's why it probably ends up a little farther north. So we'll know more about the timing, but Wednesday or Thursday, you have three full days to prepare here and evacuate or get prepared for this hurricane. It could track farther south. So I'll show you in a second. These are the latest tracks. This is the forecast from Weather 2020 made seven months ago to target around October 7th. And the projected path is right over our forecast. And there you can see the Category 4 145, 150 mile per hour winds. That would be close to Category 5 hurricane and weaken to a Category 3 as it makes landfall and tracks across Florida. So Orlando, Tampa, this whole area is the target at this moment. All right, so uh, this is interesting. Now, uh, here's the more specific track. You can see at noon Monday, it's forecast to be a major hurricane, then become a Category 4, and by Tuesday, it's a Category 4. And then as I showed you this latest track, the GFS model has it way up here north of Tampa. The impacts are significant depending on where it tracks and hopefully weekends. But you can see it's going to be real close to Orlando and Tampa. All of Florida, though, needs to pay close attention to this. This is the 13th named storm of the season. Milton will turn red when it becomes major. It'll be the fourth major hurricane of the season. Nadine and Oscar will be next. Hopefully there aren't too many more this season. Well, the 2020 predicted the active season, but not the hyperactive season that others predicted. Others were predicting 25 to 30 named storms. Weather Bell predicted that many. And even the University of Pennsylvania went up to 39 named storms. We predicted 14 to 19, and we're at number 13 right now. We predicted seven to 10 hurricanes. This is number nine. We predicted four to five majors. This is number four. And the A score is going up. Our prediction for the season 150. So we'll see how it ends up. Three systems, Kirk, Leslie, and Milton, all at the same time right now. Kirk should, should weaken tomorrow and fall apart in the next few days. Leslie will weaken in the next couple of days as well. But Milton is the threat. What is going on here? Look at this. This is Milton, right? Beginning to strengthen. There it is right there. Here's the Yucatan Peninsula. But I want to show you something interesting. You see this? This is Tropical Storm Barrel that was a Category 5 hurricane. Look where Barrel was right here, and look where Milton is. See that? Milton's going to track just right near where Barrel was, in fact, almost identical to the spot. They are related through the LRC. And Barrel was a Category 5, and we were expecting the one that would be related to Barrel later in the season would be a Category 4, 4 or 5, and it looks like that's happening. Isn't that amazing? This is the LRC, folks. This is October 6th, and this is July 6th, 92 days ago. And if you've been tracking the weather with us here, then you know it's been a 46-day cycle, roughly, and that is exactly on cycle. Again, there is the American model, the latest one that just came out, valid 8 a.m. Thursday morning. The European model on the coast Wednesday night, 
So we should get a better timing on this. If it intensifies, it might slow down just a little bit, but it's going to be going over some tremendously warm waters. So there you go. Um, I hope that you are preparing now. If you live in that area, if you know anybody in the area between Tampa, Orlando, all the way down to Naples or up to the north as well, just prepare and take this seriously. We saw what just happened with Helene. Helene was different. Helene weakened considerably as it hit land, but all that moisture was a conveyor belt into higher terrain across North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and it produced the damage. And it's still going on, and we've got another one coming. I'm meteorologist Gary Lee Zach with Weather 2020, and we'll have another update with our full update on Tuesday on our Weather 2020 intelligence report.